What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. As always, thank you guys for taking your time out of the day to even watch the videos and support. So huge shout out to you guys. So as you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be installing a brand new front lip on my friend's F82 BMW M4. So before we begin, I just want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, Nente. I believe that's how it's pronounced. It's spelled N-I-N-T-E, so it's either got to be 90 or Nente, so I'm just going to say Nente because it sounds cooler, but they sponsored this video with a brand new front lip for his car, so huge special shout out to them for making this video possible. They went out of their way and sent us a brand new front lip for the car, so if you've never heard of Nente before, they're basically a parts website. It's not only for BMWs, they got a bunch of other cars too, like Infinities, Mercedes, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of cool parts. I'll go ahead and throw the link down below to their website, and I'll also throw in a discount code code for any parts they sell like lips spoilers side skirts all kinds of stuff so huge huge shout out to them if you guys could do me a favor hit that link down below visit their website and just browse and check out maybe you guys might find something you need for your car but without further ado let's get on to the video so before i go ahead and show you guys what's inside the box let me go ahead and show you guys around the car real quick so like i said before this is my friend's car right here he just got it wrapped and he also recently installed this gts hood which looks really really good the original color was like a graphite type of gray or like a space gray but in my opinion this satin black looks 10 times better but yeah it's freshly wrapped satin black he literally just got it back it's got red interior dct it's got a nice rear wing on it nice diffuser and it also has a aw tuning exhaust i believe it's the straight pipe one that they have but yeah this car looks pretty mean in this color i actually wanted to do my car in this color as well but i actually changed my mind probably gonna do another color later on because i'm getting tired of that orange color so yeah now that i showed you guys around the car a little bit it still needs like a lot of parts he's still gonna lower it and do all kinds of cool stuff to it but for now we're gonna go ahead and install a new front lip because it is in dire need of it so i had opened the box already and checked it out but let me go ahead and unbox it fully for you guys So here is the brand new lip. It is a carbon fiber M performance style front lip. They also sent us brand new carbon splitters that go on the sides of the car, which are the same ones as these that he already has on the car. It's just kind of hard to tell because the car is black. Since the car was just freshly wrapped, I don't want to go ahead and take these old carbon ones off just to install the new ones because I don't want the wrap to peel or anything like that. So we're not going to be installing these brand new ones just yet. Maybe we'll leave that for another video or something, but we're just going to install this new front lip here and it should fit up pretty well. So they also went ahead and sent us hardware. So we're good to go there. I'm going to first go ahead and try to test fit it onto the car before I begin installing it because I want to know exactly how the fitment is. Hopefully the fitment's good to go and then we'll move on from there so let me go ahead and try to test fit it on the car So I went ahead and test fit it on there and I'm just holding it up by some masking tape just to keep it in kind of its place but it looks like it's fitting up really really well. I don't know how well you guys can tell on camera but just with the masking tape there's like really no gap. Once I screw it completely on there you will not see any gaps or anything like that. So fitment on this lip is really really good which if you've had any experience with any like aftermarket companies it's really hard to come by parts like aftermarket parts where it has good fitment but this so far has really good fitment so so good job on Nente for that so before I can move ahead and screw this lip onto the car I actually have to lift it up from both sides so I can have much more room to work with on the bottom all right guys I got the car all jacked up in the air I didn't even bother putting jack sands on it because honestly I'm not even going under the car I'm just gonna be right here the whole time but as you can tell the lip has little dimples on it, so you know where to drill into. So, so I'm gonna get my handy dandy piece of crap Ryobi drill. I really need to invest in some Milwaukee drills or something like that, but these will do just fine for now. So before I could drill the lip on there, I actually have to use the double-sided tape that they gave us, and I have to put that double-sided tape in these areas right here. So let me go ahead and pop this lip off real quick, throw some double-sided tape on there, and then I'll get back to you guys. All 
Okay guys, I got the double-sided tape on the designated spots. Now all I gotta do is peel off that red backing and then just slap it on there. So I completely forgot a step. I actually have to heat up the double tape before actually throwing it on there. Because for those who don't know, if you heat up the double tape before sticking it on somewhere, it will stick much, much better and it will hold on for much longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up with the heat gun real quick and then throw it on there. All right guys, the lip is finally on there and secured. This thing is not going anywhere. The entire bumper is moving when I'm messing with the lip. So that's a good sign. But fitment itself is also pretty damn good. There's no gaps or anything like that as you guys can tell. If there was a gap, you'd see light shining through but so far everything looks really good. Went ahead and secured it with some hardware as you can tell from the bottom. But yeah, that thing is not going anywhere and it looks a hundred times better. Let me go ahead and get the car on the ground and move it outside and give you guys a better look. So instead of showing you guys around just the front lip and stuff like that, I'm going to go ahead and take the car around the corner to like a nice little spot and try to get some good cinematics for you guys. And I'll also get a clip of the exhaust because it sounds pretty good. pretty damn loud so here we are at a cool little spot now let me get some cinematics for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed that little cinematic footage. I'm not really good at that, but I'm trying to get better at it. So practice makes perfect. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about that. But let me get some exhaust clips for you guys as well. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that little exhaust clip right there. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. I know it's a short little video, but I wanted to get it out there for you guys. As I said before, huge shout out to Ninty for sponsoring this video with a brand new front lip for my friend's car. So huge shout out to you guys. Can't thank you guys enough. And if you guys haven't already, go and check their link down below. I also have a discount code with them, so if you're going to order a front lip or something like that, make sure you throw that discount code in there so you guys will definitely save some money. But without further ado, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.